Isn't it funny that anybody who receives mentally visions or premonitions or any kind of uh, picture in mind are called crazy? And according to the seven hermetic principles, that's the first principle, the number one principle is mentalism. That this whole universe is mental. Humankind has been the victim of a cruel game of misinformation, of um, gaslighting, of keeping us all in the dark. A lot of us have a lot of questions about our history, about certain abilities that we have. As we rise in vibration, these compartments in the mind opened up and all of a sudden you are able to do certain things that you couldn't before. You are able to tap into other dimensions, you know, just not to not go too far the fourth dimension is a mental dimension but if you start sp speaking about something like that you know you can get people giving you looks and whatnot again i believe that because of that stigma there's a lot of people walking around in the streets just talking to themselves because since there's that stigma instead of thinking hey i got a gift they think i have a curse i'm sick because that's what the doctor said. Kind of reminds me of the kid from the, the Sixth Sense. That he thought he had a curse. That he was cursed, right? With this ability to see spirits. But in the end, it was because the spirits needed help. And he was able to just kind of not be afraid of his gift. And just, you know, to stop thinking that it was a curse. And understand that it was a gift. So, this is why I believe that women and Gen Z are going to save us all. That's right. Because, according to Carl Jung, Carl Jung, yeah, Jung, Carl Jung, um, no one will be able to reach enlightenment unless they can tap into their feminine energy. And women are, you know, e you know, they're, they can easily go back and forth from their masculine to their feminine because this is a masculinized, you know, society. So they have to, you know, they have to do things that are particularly energized in a masculine way because that's the way being, we've been raised. Come on, you got to go. You got to go. You got to get this done. You got to get this project done. That's that kind of energy, the go, go, go energy, right? I mean, when you see the masculine symbol, you know, it's go, 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 you know? But they're also able to tap into their feminine. So for you ladies, don't stop being feminine, okay? Because in this being a man's world, you know, you can all just kind of want to renounce, you know, to, to your feminine ways because you got to get out there and, you know, make that dollar and everything. But the advantage that you have is you have your feminine energy i didn't start seeing you know higher elevated things until i started to accept my feminine side and this you know has been happening or it was trying to start from the very beginning from the moment i i i had reason it was trying to come out and this is why I ran into many problems with you know people in my family people of my nation because I was growing up in Mexico I mean think about what kind of testing ground is that right I mean but it happens I mean um, I guess it's, you grow a lot stronger when you have that much resistance so growing up in an environment like that where they don't allow you to be you know use your feminine ways or your feminine energy you know, you are either, you know, you sink or swim. And I was able to um, to tap into my femininity by, you know, 
just going always going with what was the path of least resistance you know i believe that that is if it comes easy to you is because you're meant to do it if it comes easy to you is a talent and a lot of us think you know we've been taught and you know we've been educated in the masculine ways that you know it's got to be hard it's got to be a struggle you know and that is very very prevalent in mexico you know they everything's about making things hard harder than they should be you know and this is not to put down mexico is the fact that you're not allowed to think freely you know now it's obviously a lot better you know but um when i was growing up it was it wasn't and uh, with Gen Z, you know, it's because of the waves of souls that have been showing up throughout our latest history, ever since the 50s, or 40s, I should say, um, to make us progress forward. Because you have to imagine, too, you know, that there's all the other planets, all the other stars in the universe, um, they're all children of God. So we're all heading back home to, to the big light, you know, after, after the Big Bang, we're all spread out away from the Father, and now we got to all get back home, you know, got to move back into that unity, that big light. So, you know, all of them are gung ho about doing it, right? But then there's those negative forces that are disallowing that. And, you know, ever since the atomic bomb, well they were like oh we gotta we gotta get involved we gotta make this process happen come on you guys you're lagging behind right so you know the boomers came around um and again this is all according to the data that uh, dolores cannon was able to to extract from his from her subjects you know her pa patients that were under hypnosis and they just started spilling the soup about past lifetimes and so on and so forth right so she was able to gather information that was like, wait a second, this matches, you know. So she put it, put it all in books. I didn't, haven't read any of her books, but I have uh, heard her speak, you know. Um, anyway, you guys can look into it. But um, she mentioned that it, there was all these waves of souls coming in, starting with the boomers. I mean, think about it. Right after the atomic bomb, which was, you know, in the 40s, you know these waves started you know but they were put down by you know the status quo you know a lot of them were able to stay still stay um free thinking you know and understanding that they had a mission here understanding that there was there was a a task to undertake and um some of them st stayed resilient and some of them uh, some of them just you know got absorbed back into the culture uh, back into the status quo they're just kind of like well so much resistance you know they couldn't it couldn't happen but throughout our latest history that's been happening and now in the united states you have noticed that uh when obama was president you know that this sense of unity started to be more prevalent this you know, acceptance you know i mean ellen came out so for the lbgtq community things started to you know open up a little bit more and um so all of these changes have been happening and we've been finding a lot of finding a lot of harmony you know so getting to gen z well these these souls come straight from you know places like atlantis you know where the scientific mind was a lot more elevated so if you find that your baby or your kid that is a generation z or later you're finding now that they seem some, sometimes they say some like some things that are just like wow how how did you come up with that you're just a kid again that's been the the idea that just because you, they're kids they don't know but they're a lot wiser than any of us because they haven't been infected by the status quo the you know what's n known as the you know the uh, common i you know common knowledge you know, they they are they haven't been able to, they haven't been told no, you can't. You see what I'm saying? And if they have, they just don't buy it anymore. That's the way I was growing up, and I, I'm Generation X. So I'm, uh, you know, when I would say something, people would look at me and give me weird looks. You know, which were now I know that there were advanced thoughts, and that people were just like just just just, just say anything. You know, that's why ever since I've been a kid, I've been questioning religion. Like that doesn't make any sense. You know, <laughs> you know, telling me that I have to feel guilty when God is love. You know what I mean? So 
This is why I believe that women in Generation Z are going to save us all, are going to, are going to move us forward. So listen to these kids. They know what they're talking about. And listen to your woman. Because if you're a dude, because us as dudes, we have this thing like, oh, no, I'm not gay, okay? You know, what? <laughs> trying to convince them, uh, you know, I'm doing this, but I'm not gay. You know, it's it's so lame, honestly. And it's not elevated. It's, it's a sign of somebody who is really struggling with, you know, with their feminine side and they're just trying to shove it down, you know, like I, like I, I, I was doing it. I used to do, and um, you know, I got into martial arts and trying to be this badass, you know, trying to be the next, you know, coming of Arnold, Bruce Lee, and Sly Stallone, you know. <laughs> uh, I was raised on these guys, and my father was nowhere to be seen, so I looked up to these guys, you know, they were my surrogate fathers. In fact, I called them my nannies, you know, because when my birth family didn't want anything to do with me they looked out for me if you will you know because i started i would just watch their movies you know and i got a sense of what masculinity was but then also i had this feminine side you know that kept trying to come out you know and it wasn't until i uh because of bruce lee's philosophies you know because he was raised in you know Wu Wei and that's those are the kind of philosophies that um, the Tao Te Ching, you know. So that's that's what I learned from him, and I got into Alan Watts and Krishnamurti because of him. So I was able to open up my mind that whenever I would speak of these subjects, you know, again my family would be like, well, "What are you talking about?" And my father would yell at me. It's like, "Where did you learn that?" I'm like, "In a psychology book or in this in a philosopher's book." So you're not supposed to read that. You just read the Bible because God is the only one who knows, and it's like. You know, like, again, that's what a narcissist does. Trying to keep you down, trying to keep you uninformed, trying to keep you in the dark. And unfortunately, that's been the case, you know, for all humankind for a long, long time. But in, in the next episode, I'm going to speak about, you know, those, the, that particular energy. Uh, this was aimed for all of you ladies and all of you kids, Gen Z kids, because... You know, I, if there are any bros out there that want to criticize this this material, just go and read it. Inform yourself instead of just shutting everything down. You see, in order for you to taste my tea, you must empty your cup. You know what I mean? That was from Bruce Lee. And if you want to be a badass, come on. You want to be like Bruce Lee. Talk to you later.